Hey, welcome back to a host of our video. My name's Alex, and today we're going to show you how to configure a guest portal for TP-Link Armada. There's a written version of this guide on our support center, support.hostify.com. Link is in the top right-hand corner and link down below. The, the guide shows you how to configure a guest portal, make a wireless SSID, as well as set the authentication type and set a separate VLAN. What I've got in my controller are three devices. I've got a TP-Link gateway, TP-Link switch, and a TP-Link Armada access point. All three are currently connected to my Hostify powered Armada controller. The guide to how to connect your devices to a new Hostify Armada controller can be found at our support center. Links are down below. First thing you want to do is make a new wireless SSID. So you go to settings, wireless networks, WLAN, and then create new wireless network. I'm going to name my SSID as guest. It's going to be broadcasting on all frequencies. My access point is a 115 AP. It is 2.4 gigahertz only, but this shouldn't matter at all. We're going to enable the guest network. We're going to come down to security, set that to none, because we're going to have a button that just says login. On advanced settings, we're going to set VLAN 50. I haven't made this VLAN yet. We're going to do that just now. There is an option to set client rate limits. So you can make new profiles and limit your clients to certain speeds, like 10 megabits per second. We're going to leave everything on default currently. So I'm going to make that new SSID. Next thing is to make the new wired network with VLAN 50. So come down to wired networks and then to LAN. The ER605 router has already made a default management network for me called LAN and it's 192.168.0.1. I'm going to rename this network to management for better management, more better simpler management. So management. That's VLAN 1, by the way. I'm going to make a new network called Guest. It's going to have an, in it's going to an interface on the actual router itself. It's going to be LAN 1, VLAN type single, VLAN 50. And then 192.168.50.1 slash 24. And then make sure to press the update DHCP range to make sure the, the range is set. Everything else can be left on auto. We're going to come down to save. With the guest network, make sure that all the LAN interfaces are ticked. This one, this one, this one, and this one. I did have a bit of a problem off camera when I'd only ticked LAN 1 and my guest SSID was not working, so I had to come back and tick all of these. That's a good, helpful tip. The next job is to make the new guest portal. So come down to authentication, and then portal, and then create new portal. This says controller online required. So if you've got this self-hosted on a Windows PC and you sometimes turn it off, this guest portal will stop working. However, my controller is hosted with Hostify and it's always online. I'm going to turn that on. Guest portal name will be guest portal. SSID and network. So we're going to come down and select guest as our network and the SSID is guest. Authentication type is no authentication. So it's just going to look like this. It's going to have the TP-Link logo and press login. You can customize this logo to anything you want. You can even have a solid picture. So I might even change this to a white picture. Or we're gonna we're gonna actually gonna select a nice uh nice um sort of teal colour. There we go. We can even put some welcome information in there, so we're gonna say welcome to our guest Wi Fi. So that's cool. Font size 12, I'm going to increase that a little bit. Ah, 18 is the maximum. Okay, there we go. Terms of service, and then copyright information as well. So that looks pretty professional. I'm going to come down to apply. And we're going to wait for everything to provision, and then we can give it a test. So the moment the router itself is configuring, we'll come back once that's done. Now everything is provisioned, we're going to jump over to a smartphone and make sure that everything's working fine. Connect to your guest SSID you made in the Amada controller, and then in a second you'll get a pop-up window to authenticate to the guest network. Click on the agree, and then click on login. There's a countdown timer to make sure you know when it's going to connect. Hit done, and you'll be redirected and connected to the internet. Okay, hopefully that's been a helpful look at how to configure a guest portal using TP-Link Armada. You can find more about Hostify at hostify.com. You can contact the team for any support and queries at support at hostify.com. And you can find us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. We're also on Mastodon. Link is down below.
You can find this guide on our support centre, support.hostify.com, link in the top right hand corner and link down below. Thank you for watching this video, my name is Alex and we'll see you again next time.